Good afternoon, everyone. It's Rob from Next Truck Sales, and I'd like to take this opportunity and introduce you to our 2010 Freightliner Cascadia. Features a DD15 at 505 horse with a 13-speed manual. I'll take you through the truck. It's got some miles on it. It's a 15-year-old truck, so let's see what we got going on here. I'll take you up to here. The old-style Cascadias, this clamshell hinge, kind of sticky. Have a listen. Open it. And then when you close it, it kind of hangs up and you can see actually there's, there's bits and pieces of aluminum kind of crumbling out. So that should be taken apart and serviced. Grill's got a couple of screws holding it together. The front uh, lower bright chrome piece there, trim panel is, uh, is peeling. Tires are, this is a Firestone FS 561 11R, 14 ply. If you look here, you can see it's got a little bit of a uh, run on that one tread. Overall here, this engine, oh, this has got the, uh, the APT, the actual power turbine. This is one of the first gen where they had that, uh, that boost turbine unit and that's on there. Uh, gen one's got the old style pull rod EGR. Uh, I'll get it running. Uh, it's got a bit of a belt squeal. Got Hendrickson air ride front suspension. I think that comes in 12.5 flavor. Okay, overall not too much body damage on this thing. Uh, it's been siliconed to death and I saw some water coming out in and around this area. We've got lots of silicone on this windshield. Probably needs to come out and be resealed or don't drive it when it rains, park it indoors. That's not gonna be too practical, but you know what I mean? It, it's not a new truck anymore and we're not prepared to put any money into it. We're selling it as is, but I want you to see it for what it is. Body damage, skirts here, not bad. 150 gallon tank, a little bit of a crunch on that bracket. Okay, a little bit of damage there. Frame is not bad. Kind of crusty looking. Freightliners tend to look the crustiest. This one's not bad. We've got an exhaust pipe hanging down from the Bobasto Airtop heater, and we've got a wire here kind of cable tied up. Okay, a little bit of corrosion going on the back wall. These are aluminum cabs, and you can see we've got corrosion. Again, more silicone across the back. Take a look in there. All right, so this thing's, I don't know what's going on, but nonetheless, it's, it's got a lot of silicone on the cab. Uh, we've got SureTrack, which are Chinese. Virgin drives, probably all around the 40 to 50% tread. We go to Holland, 3,500 fifth wheel. Uh, looks like it moves about three feet, two feet forward, two feet back. It's getting close to the end of its life expectancy. Uh, all the tires are all actually decent. They're matched and they're virgins. Uh, have a look here. We've got some corrosion on the back of the cab here. And again, more silicone, right? Silicone just about everywhere. So this thing's probably had or has water leaks that they've attempted to repair by siliconing every possible seam on this cab. Uh, let's have a look over here and get a look at the bunk door. Let's see what's inside. Okay, we've got the Arctic Climate Package. We've got the curtains and some of the vents, the bug vents in here for when you open up your window that you don't get bugs coming in. 150 gallon on this side as well. I'll take you under the hood in a minute. In a minute, let's just have a quick look. First gen power disconnect. I'm not sure if this is a smart one. So when you turn that off, you can throw faults if you don't wait for the computer to power off. So make sure that you do that. Power locks, power mirrors, power windows. We're gonna get it started and have a listen, see what they do. Uh, we've got a legacy seat, it's a silver model. It's got some wear, it's not bad. A little bit of wear, looks like a cigarette burn in there. Let's uh, let's fire this thing up and have a listen. Okay, so our windows are working. Our mirrors, that's working. That's working. Power locks are working. Okay, we've got an aftermarket radio here with the USB charger, which is nice. 
give the air conditioning a try. Let's see what it's doing. Uh, we've got a Bluetooth speaker there, which is cool. Okay. All right, four active faults. I was poking around here on this earlier. It looks like it's all cab faults, so let's go through and see what's happening. Enter. SAM controller, that's for your lights. I think I can scroll through here. Hit it again, SAM controller. Radar, so that's your front radar. It doesn't even have radar, so I'm not sure why that's got that fault. Another SAM fault. NA track, so that's heating and air conditioning. So nothing engine related. These are faults related, and probably related to water leaks. Um, when I pulled in, I saw a little bit of water on the dash. Look at that. Right, we got some drip. So we, I mean, that's gonna be the biggest issue you're gonna have to deal with is getting this thing to be waterproof. Uh, clutch feels decent. Oil pressure's good. Water temperature's up. Voltage is good. Uh, air pressure, 125, that's good. Okay, let's have a look. So overall interior cab, pretty decent. The floor is in good shape. Looks like we've got a homemade bracket to go across. That looks like something you would have bought at Home Depot. All good. Let's have a look here. So DD15, 505, 475 on your pedal, 1650 torque, 13 speed, 358 ratio. And it's a 12, 12,000 Hendrickson air ride front suspension. You can see that water there, right? So is coming in you can see it cascadias are famous even the new ones have leaks i got something squeaking away in here i think it's the fridge it's got a fridge whether or not it works i have no idea close that up okay over here we've got the writing table okay the tray is missing and the um the hinges are kind of buggered up have a look here so we do have i did notice down on here uh, Wabasto, that was the heater exhaust that I noticed under the cab. Uh, give me one second, I'm just gonna pop up the bed. we got brand new mattresses in it. Okay, so you got one heater there, and your exhaust pipe looked like it was coming up over by the tailpipe. So your control will be here. Okay. Let's get underneath the hood and have a listen to this thing you're running. Put it up on fast idle. It looks like the tachometer gauge is kind of like falling apart a little bit there. I, remember, I don't know why that happens, but Speedo is as well. And please take note that the odometer, sorry, the speedometer is in uh, kilometers, but you also have miles there. So if you happen to be watching this video and you're in the US, we do offer delivery to our yard in Buffalo. So let's uh, let's have a listen to this thing running. See what's going on. of uh, moisture inside the oil filler cap. Shut it off and finish up. So we're selling the truck as is. It's too old and too many miles for us to look at certifying it. See in here it run. It's got some water leaks. It's got other issues. You can see the hood's 
not closing on its own by itself. Uh, but it's a good price point truck. So if this is something that you're interested in, feel free to give us a call. We do offer delivery service to our yard in Buffalo, uh, or you can pick it up from our yard in Cambridge. We have pricing for both locations. Feel free to give us a call. Our number is 844-489-8789, 844-HEAVY-TRUCKS. It's Robin X Truck Sales. We hope to hear from you soon. Thanks for watching and bye for now.